After a month on the Baja Peninsula, we arrived in central Mexico at the house we had rented for the month of December. The house was beautiful with everything we needed and was in a great neighborhood, which was walking distance to everything. Guanajuato was so rich in culture. The food, the tiny winding streets, the friendly people. We felt at home for the first time in a while. We came across art festivals, downhill bike races, and so many indoor markets to explore. We found a lot of excuses to stop for treats. It's cheese ice cream. Mm -hmm. What flavor is this, Molly? Queso. Cheese. In Spanish. A queso? Queso ice cream. Ice cream. And explain what it tastes like then. Um, it's sweet like normal ice cream. I got a chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really good. Lemon. I got lemon. Lemon in Spanish. Oh, you got a, a pineapple agua fresca. And it means um, agua fresca. If you want a perfect translation, it means fresh water. But it's actually more like a, I guess a juice. Guanajuato is a famously beautiful city designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its well-preserved Baroque architecture. It is nestled in a valley and retains much of its 15th century charm. Tu animal favorito? Uh -huh. Muy rápido. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Tacos bajo y a Rodolfo le lucro por su singular nariz. Un país. Es sud de aquí. Ajá, es del sur. Oh, sud. We took a taxi at 11 to downtown Manawato and then we um, we walked around a little bit and then we met our Spanish teacher Lucy to play some games and then we went for some really good tortas which is like a Mexican sandwich and then we walked around some more bought some costumes for the play and then now we're having ice cream so yeah Um, an hour with our Spanish teacher Lucy making homemade hot chocolate. Normalmente like las personas chocolate. hacen esto. Uh, the simple steps are we took some cocoa beans, we toasted them, and then we shredded them and took off their peels, and it looked like this. And then we put it, we grinded it in the blender and made it 
cocoa powder, put it in with some boiling milk, and add some sugar, stirred it for a while, made hot chocolate. Guardia. Policia. Policia. Uh, tu vives. El vive. Viernes, sábado, domingo. Muy bien. New York. You need to know New York. <laughs> New unique. New York. New York. It's unique. You know you need unique New York. Ah, uh, no, no. pica papas. Our Spanish teacher Lucy helped us make some Mexican piñatas. I have mine hanging right here. The kind of story of the Mexican piñata is the cones are supposed to represent either the seven sin and then the inside you usually put candy or something sweet like confetti and it's supposed to represent the good soul of a person. So once you whack the piñata and it bursts and then you get the reward of their good soul. My piñata has six sides. It reminds me of Christmas because it has some green and red and a bit of white. Our Spanish teacher Lucy is part of this little theater group in the community and she invited us to participate in their play Pan de Diablo and I am costume as a shepherd and it's showtime in like half an hour. It's in Spanish and I'm a uh, pastore which means a sh like a shepherd. I have a few lines. The story is about, um, it takes place at Christmas where Mary and Joseph are looking for this town called Belin so they can go have their baby. There's this devil that keeps trying to stop them from getting to Belin because he doesn't want them to have their baby and so he has his bread that he poisons it's a comedy. It's kind of, it's really funny. <laughs> some hiking in the hills surrounding Guanajuato and enjoyed exploring caves and taking in the sweeping view.
We had a great time learning local Christmas customs, as well as trying to recreate our own family traditions. We took a day trip to San Miguel and we are at La Fabrica, a bunch of artists' studios and shops where you can buy a bunch of modern art. A modern interior store, I enjoyed that. And there's just a big garden and it's really beautiful with a bunch of potted plants and big flower bushes and stuff. There were so many unique shops and artisans to explore in nearby San Miguel de Allende. It was obvious why so many people come here to visit. We're glad we came for a day trip, but also happy that we picked Guanajuato as our home base. Teotihuacan was our first visit to an archaeological site, and we were excited to experience a bit of the history that we've been studying in preparation. Oh, wow! That is awesome! Today we visited Teotihuacan, which is an ancient city built by nobody knows who because when the Aztecs came down to the area and found it, it was already there for 500 years and we don't know who built it in the first place. What I thought was amazing was the physics that go into building their temples. They wanted to reward the birds, the Quetzal bird, that they killed to get their feathers to make their, their funny head dresses. So they made a perfect echo that if you stand on a certain point, you clap your hands and it echoes through the temple and makes the bird sound, which I thought was a lot of work in physics. Two, three. A really good fact that I learned at the pyramids today was if you stand at the right angle and look at the sun pyramid, it lines up perfectly with the volcano behind. Uh, we learned about Quetzalcoatl, and Quetzalcoatl is a god. He is a feathered serpent god. And we learned about the story of Quetzalcoatl, which is that the Aztec and the people before the Aztec believed that the rain and the mist and all the water that fell from the sky was sort of symbolic of birds and feathers. And that rain and water, when it hit the earth, would run into rivers and form, you know, serpentine-like shapes with the rivers, which was symbolic of the serpent. And then again, once the sun hit those bodies of water and the water would evaporate back up into the air to turn back into rain to then fall again. They built pyramids to teach some philosophy. Then, when it was done, they built another pyramid in front or above the pyramid. That's why the moon pyramid has six more pyramids inside there. The historic city of Veracruz is on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico and boasts a famous aquarium where we were dazzled by hundreds of species which live in the Gulf. We are in Veracruz at the Aquatic Center and we just went to see a behind the scenes tour of the penguin exhibit with our guide, Mariana. She brought us in, she explained to us that they ate anchovies and that most of them are really social. So we went into a little room and we watched a video about the, the aquarium and then a trainer brought in some penguins and we got to pick up. They ran around the room a few times to get an anchovy and it was really cute. It was really fun to hold to here. We 
we are in Villa Hermosa, and it is the day before the Three Kings Day, or the Via de las Reyes. We're just in one of the downtown squares. The place is buzzing. You can hear from uh, behind me here. Lots of people selling things. Vendors are out. People are out getting the presents for the holidays. It's fun to be part of it. It is the sixth of January, which, as we've learned, is almost bigger than Christmas in some parts of Mexico. It is the 12th day of Christmas, the so 12 days after Christmas, and traditionally the day that the, the three wise men showed up in Bethlehem with their gifts, and that's celebrated here uh, and in a lot of places as King's Day uh, with the large round bread which we picked up at a street vendor. Everybody is eating them here. There's thousands of them to be had. Uh, they even come even larger. Uh, the idea is that you sit down with your family, everybody cuts a piece, and there's a small plastic baby Jesus uh, somewhere hidden in the bread. Whoever gets the baby Jesus in their piece has to host a meal uh, next month, like a lunch or a dinner next month. So we'll see how it goes. Via Hermosa is known as the center of the ancient Olmec civilization. The Olmecs are most famously known for the massive stone heads they placed in their city. We saw many of these in the city's archaeological park, which is combined with a huge zoo of local animals. This head was found in a specific arrangement alongside the colossal heads at the northern end of the pre-Hispanic settlement of La Venta. We are in Alux's nature park and I am in front of some adorable Tabasco mud turtles. They are super tiny, they can grow up to 13 centimeters long. They can live to 20 years old. I am standing in front of some adorable spider monkeys and they are playing with each other and they're swinging, they're having a lot of fun. These monkeys are still babies, so they shouldn't be in much contact with humans in case they are still allowed to be released out in the wild. There were these ants that, that are carrying leaves from like way over there somewhere, and they're going like 200 feet back to like their colony. I feel really fortunate to be here with all these animals. There's just a troop of howler monkeys that were swinging up above our heads. Now we're in the crocodile and alligator area. The smell, there's just this fruity, flowery smell. The air is clear, beautiful blue sky day. Just really having a great time. We just received our desserts. This is a chocolate volcano. I'm really excited to eat it. I've never tried anything like it. And they make the chocolate here. Look at it. Oh. This, egg, this is the mask they got of the underworld. Uh -huh. The name was Apuch from the Shivalba. Palenque was our first Mayan archaeological site. We had a really knowledgeable guide who shared so many stories with us and even took us on a walk in the jungle where we felt like Indiana Jones. The temple Jones. of the sun and the moon. This is the temple of the car and the huge one that we have behind us. So who finished the tomb of his father was this one. The other one, Kanholchitam, was took as a prisoner. Why? Because with this one, the insect will think that other thing, insects have already eaten them and they don't attack it. This, this, it's food. If you go to San Cristobal de las Casas, there you are going to find a big ant. The name is Chicatana. It's like celery. <laughs> How is it? Eat them. No! <laughs> We're in the forest right now. 
around us is the jungle and we are walking right below our feet is a temple. We are at the bottom of a jungle that has overgrown a giant Mayan temple. And we have a little natural stream that we are um, drinking because it's potable and cleaning our feet in and stuff. We rolled into Campeche for the night on the way to Merida, our next home for a month. We were looking forward to a month on the beach and enjoying the sun and waves. I loved exploring the town of Guanajuato. I really liked acting in the Spanish Christmas play in Guanajuato. Experiencing Christmas traditions in a different culture. I love the Veracruz Aquarium and the penguins. I loved walking in the jungle at Palenque. 